It's been an exciting and busy year around Hampton City Schools. We have a lot to be proud of, with Hampton becoming the first Ford Next Generation Learning Community in Virginia and one of the only 23 designated communities across the country. We receive so much support from our community partners. Whether they fundraise on our behalf or show up to one of our schools on career day, they help make us better. Students learned inside and outside of our classrooms and had some fun too. If you missed any of this news, it's very easy to keep up with all that's going on around the division. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe to HCS on social media. You can also follow the latest news by visiting the HCS website. We also broadcast school-related programming on our PEG TV channel. Before we go, here are some parting words from seniors who are graduating in 2017. You don't want to miss this. What I will probably miss most about my high school experiences are the uh, bonds I made with my friends, all uh, getting along with my teachers and the people I work for at the administration. I'm really looking forward to being a cop after graduating. I'm really excited. I'm gonna to go to a community college for two years and then go to wherever I decide. And then I'm gonna enlist in the um, police academy. So I'm really excited. The thing that I'm looking forward to most after graduating is becoming an official Gator at the University of Florida and also majoring in entomology because entomology isn't really a field that most people have heard of and it's the study of bugs so it's a lot of fun to show all the types of creepy crawlies that come my way and also there are a few girls and minorities in this field so I hope to bring awareness to this field. After graduation I'm going to go into the um, Air Force. We, after I do about six years I'm going to come back out um, I'm going to go to a community college for about two years to study in business and then I want to go into the field of uh, accounting. Okay, my favorite class was probably um, guitar with Mr. Durig and um, my math class with Mr. Sanders because they're, they're just very encouraging and um, Mr. Sanders really, uh, he helps you out and he'll help you on a personal level rather than just as a teacher with your, your schoolwork and Mr. Durig really wants you to excel at playing guitar, not just passing his class, he wants you to be prepared if you plan on pursuing music. My favorite class was either Mr. DiCarlo's 11th grade English class because he was so funny and he made the class very entertaining and intriguing and he made me want to do the best I could in there. Or show choir here at Kikatan. I was in two different show choirs and I got to travel around a lot. I got to perform and I made some amazing friends that I'm probably going to have for the rest of my life. Uh, definitely my favorite class was Mr. Claxton's World History One class. He was a great teacher. He knew how to keep the class um, interesting and he was always funny, so that made the class great. My favorite class was, I believe, Mr. Bishop's U.S. History class because I felt like the way he taught was unique and I got to learn more. I'm most proud of being in the first academy class to graduate from the school. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, four years and we're the first class at Kikatan, so it's a pretty big honor. I am most proud of, as a cliche as it sounds, um, coming to terms with who I really am because sophomore year I was diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder and severe depression, which people might find hard to believe about me because I come off as being a very upbeat and positive person, but that was a real struggle for me because it affected my day-to-day -day life. I never wanted to get out of bed in the morning and it really affected my studies, but eventually I found a really supportive group of people who managed to help me through everything I went through. and. I am most proud of becoming the commanding officer of our ROTC unit. It was definitely a big accomplishment for me and I enjoyed ROTC and that was just one of my biggest moments in high school. Uh, what I'm probably most proud of is uh, having the courage to take all these AP classes that I'm in and having the ability to know my limits when it comes to those AP classes and knowing when it's too much and when to back down from it. And maybe take it slow for a while. I'm most proud of how much I've grown since freshman year. Like I look back and I was just so immature and I did like really dumb stuff. I was probably disrespectful too. And now I've just like realized that all of that was uncalled for. So I've grown up a lot. I'm most proud of, well, first I think how far we've come as a class. And um, you know, over the years we've watched each other grow as people and 
Um, we know that it's not always easy, but that we make mistakes and we try to um, just stick with each other. And, but also just uh, how far I've come, I guess. Um, my freshman year, I was in a wheelchair and now I'm using crutches. So I guess, yeah, also me, but at, um, just all of us as a whole too. I wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for my teachers, most definitely. Um, my administrators, they're guiding me to the right direction. But most of all, my mom and my family, because they back me up even through my struggles and every obstacle I face. 